Hi guys, I am Ishwarya and welcome back to Artistic Goals. Today I am drawing something that you wanted me to draw. Still confused? Wait, let me tell you. So couple of days prior, I asked on my Instagram about which character I should draw. And after three stories, the Mr. Bean was the winner for this video. If you are new here and you don't know about the series on my channel, uh, this is the basically the series in which I draw the characters uh, which you guys want me to draw. And this is the third video of that series. So if you haven't checked out other videos, you can check it out. I will link it in the i card. Getting into the drawing process now. Uh, as you guys know, my basic process for drawing characters is drawing really really rough shapes and as time go, I give them more and more details. That's what I did it here. And after sketching it, I lined it with my faber castle Pit Artist pens. Those are basically fine liners. Drawing this character uh, was really relaxing and nostalgic uh, for me because I am 2000s kid and I basically grew up watching these kinds of cartoons. I still remember the episodes of Mr. Bean uh, and the fun little things in it. So I really enjoyed uh, drawing this. All thanks to you guys. Uh, you guys voted for the Mr. Bean and uh, this could happen. So thanks. By the way, uh, if you are wondering why did I switch from that fine liner tip to uh, brush nip that's because I noticed in the reference picture that outer lines of the character were uh, broader than the inner ones and brush nip suited for that very well that's why I used it and this black brush pen is also from uh, Faber Castle Pit Artist Prints and after uh, outlining that part I switched to the medium nip for other details Going into the drawing and coloring part, I thought that oh come on, it's really simple design, I can draw that and all, but trust me, it's not like that. <laughs> Don't get me wrong that this is really difficult to draw or anything, but uh, it's really different from my current style of drawing or uh, which I am familiar with, so it was a little challenging, but it was still fun and comparatively easy as well and if you are the person who thinks that I will forget to draw Teddy so my friend you are wrong <laughs> because when I think of Mr. Bin there is default his teddy bear with him as well as his uh, iconic fluorescent green car I wanted to draw his full car but unfortunately there were not many creative poses with that car of Mr. Bin so I stuck with this one. I mean it's better than nothing and that's such an iconic fluorescent green color that we all know that's his car so I am okay with it. And are you shocked that I am using watercolors? I mean it's staple piece of my channel at this point i love coloring with watercolors but not only that i also used colored pencils for shadows and highlights and fine detailings and all you will see it in the latter part of the video going into the coloring part i gave the flats of colors from watercolors and then uh, shaded it with colored pencils by the way, my camera is not giving the justice to his skin color because it's not that pale in real life. Uh, as the video goes on, you will notice that. I guess due to lighting situation, this happened. Sorry for that. If you are enjoying this video uh, so far and watching it right now, go and hit that like button and let me know that you are enjoying. And when you are there, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notification if you haven't already. If you do so, you can get notifications of my new videos and watch those right away. Uh, 
after stepping back i realized that his teddy bear's color is a little light so i gave it a second coat with a little darker shade and it was fixed i think this color is perfect for his teddy bear and here comes the most iconic part of the drawing his green car and after coloring his car it the whole piece of the mr bin felt so good i can't even explain you can understand if you are a big fan of mr bin or you grew up watching it that without his car and teddy bear he is incomplete i mean at least those are my opinions what do you think do you agree with me let me know in the comment section actually after i am looking back at this piece i can say that it is really relaxing to color it because those are mostly flat colors you just have to uh, match those colors after all it will look good not many special skills were required to do that i was really relaxed while doing it but in that therapeutic and relaxing situation this happened it is a lit happy little accident as bob ross says so what happened that you are surely aishwarya wanted to darken his mouth and what ended up happening was a muddy area near his mouth but don't worry when the whole piece dried out i fixed it so it's not that important the point is in the simplest drawing i managed to create a big problem <laughs> and inside his car uh, i was little confused what to do because uh, not much of background was showing through it um, you will know what i mean in a few minutes but uh, so rather than giving it uh, so much of details i just gave it gray wash I did draw the seats in the car but those were not uh, that much detailed as well because I wanted to focus on the character uh, much rather than his insides of car and all So here is the roll of colored pencils. I wanted those to um, just darken some areas or highlights and all. You'll see. I just feel uh, the drawing is incomplete without those colored pencils. Now here is the fun part. I was waiting for it actually. Rather than giving it uh, some kind of background from cartoon, I thought this will be really uh, crazy to do. So I did this background, and at the end, uh, I think it looks really nice with it. The whole focus or the focal point of the drawing is character now in my opinion. If I would have drawn the busy scene in the background, it would have been distracting. So I guess it was a good decision to do this. Also those lines are coming from the center so it gives a focal point to uh, concentrate on the drawing. So it was kind of win-win situation for me.
There was not much uh, in the coloring part of his hair. The whole thing was pretty much uh, black chunk of color. So that was easy to do. I just took out my water based black marker which was a big chunky uh, chisel nib and I was able to color the whole area really easily. With that being said, here is the finished product. What do you think? Do you like it? If you do so, comment down below. Like this video. Show support to my channel as well as my Instagram. I will link it in the description. Here is the last video where I did the character designing challenge made by Jaza. Uh, and I also included the story in it. So you can check it out. And here are also my other videos and playlist which you may enjoy. So you can check them out right now. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.